Hey guys, so as I'm sure you're well aware, the new M1 Max and M1 Pro equipped MacBook Pros were just announced by Apple. And um, these things are just absolutely insane in terms of power and so many other features that we were all asking for for so long. They're very expensive, but they are very amazing computers. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how that relates to us as music producers. Are these good computers that are worth the money for us music producers? I'm sure there's gonna be a million videos that relate to video editors, maybe some about photography, but I doubt there's gonna be much when it comes to music production, as it always is when it comes to laptops and computers. Um, I personally have the M1 MacBook Air from 2020, so I wanna relate this video a little bit to that. I think that, that is an amazing computer for music producers and it has well more than enough power for music production. I'm gonna break this video down into three different parts. First is why this laptop is so good for on the go music production and actually using it as a laptop instead of docked. The second is if you are a music producer, especially an independent producer in today's age, and you have to do all the other tasks, how this can be a useful computer. And then the third is just the longevity of the computer, your entertainment value and enjoyment, and how that's worth something as well. Let's first talk about on the go music production. So what I normally do is I work at home in my studio, docked up with my laptop. And this is so I can use my audio interface, my monitors, my big screen, um, and I can have you know, all that screen real estate to work with and true good audio quality. Uh, this is what I mainly do. But then if I'm on the go and I take my MacBook Air around, I normally just do business tasks, maybe some video editing and photo editing, uh, so entertainment, stuff like this at coffee shops. But I normally go into this knowing I'm probably not gonna do music production. And one of the main reasons for this is the screen is so small. And um, with this 16 inch one, that's actually getting into the territory where you have enough screen real estate to work effectively and not be frustrated by uh, the user interface. So that's one huge advantage of this computer. Second is their headphone jack. And this one is a lot better because it powers higher impedance headphones, which is a lot of times the professional style headphones that you and I are using. So I myself use the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros and I'll be able to fully power these headphones and you know, be able to put them, play them louder and with a better noise floor. So I think that between the bigger screen and the support of higher impedance headphones, those are the two factors of why I don't use my M1 MacBook Air. And then additionally, with all of the ports that are on it, you know, if you have different things that you have to bring with you to like the coffee shop, for example, you can plug in your external uh, storage, you can plug in an SD card if you're using that. You can power the computer, do everything you need without having to bring dongles. So you can bring less with you. It's more portable this way. Then also you have better battery life with this computer than you would say with the M1 MacBook Air. But I mean, both computers get amazing battery life to begin with. So, you know, it's a nice thing to have, but it's not necessarily vital when it comes to it. Now, whether you're plugged in or you're not plugged in, all of the new Apple Silicon computers have full power. So it doesn't matter which one you get, when you're working on the go without power, you're gonna get good performance and you're gonna get absolutely amazing performance with these new MacBook Pros. So yeah, I think for portable music production, if I got one of these new computers, I would actually be able to do music production at the coffee shop and it wouldn't really be sacrificing much. Uh, let's talk about some of the other things that we do as music producers. The sky is pretty epic tonight. How gorgeous it is today. We've been having a cold and bitter fall so far here in the Seattle area, but today it's beautiful sunshine and fall foliage, so I had to take advantage this morning, come out with the boy, and get a little walk in. All right, why don't we hit the trail and continue to talk about these computers? 
let's talk about all the other stuff that we have to do as music producers. And this is where the power of the computer actually comes in and the power of that amazing out of this world new processor. A lot of us independent music producers, we have to kind of market for ourselves, do our social media, do all of our content. Now I told you I wouldn't go too much into video editing because there's a lot of other people that are gonna be talking about that. But what I will say is with my M1 MacBook Air, it does just fine with a lot of the video editing that I do. The only thing is, is if I'm trying to do a lot of 4K and 8K, it struggles a little bit. And if I'm adding layers on top of that, I have a bunch of different things going on, then it can slow down a little bit. But I mean, the exports are great and you can get away with video editing just fine on that one. But if you wanted to future-proof yourself and you're gonna spend a lot of time on this computer, then it might be worth spending the extra money to get a more capable machine. And you just have a much better screen that you can work with when you're doing visual stuff. So you have high dynamic range, you have a thousand nits peak brightness, you have very deep blacks, you have a lot better color accuracy. So you're not gonna to need to spend money on an additional monitor if you do a lot of color work. Then the other stuff is the new FaceTime camera with that additional notch. Uh, is a lot better. It's 1080p. It has a bigger sensor So you're able to do your business stuff your zoom calls and look a little bit more professional You have better microphones in the laptop as well I just wanted to say that if you are doing other stuff Besides straight music production and that it's involved in your music production career This is a computer that's gonna last many years and be very powerful and capable Audio check, check. So the final thing I wanna talk about today is should you buy it? And if you are gonna buy it, which model should you go for? So my answer to this is it depends. <laughs> um, I'll say it depends on three main things. Do you have the funds for it? You know, you gotta balance that. Uh, how long are you gonna hold on to this computer? And what exactly do you do beyond music production? What I'm gonna do is hang on to my M1 MacBook Air for a bit longer and then maybe see if the refurbished MacBook Pros that will probably start coming out in maybe spring or summer of 2022, see if it's worth it then to buy one of those refurbished laptops at that time and sell the M1 MacBook Air that I currently have. In terms of which model you should buy, I would recommend the 16 inch. As I stated before, I think having that extra real estate will really help you when you're working remotely. For the processor, I think the M1 Pro should be plenty fine um, the M1 Max is only necessary if you're if you have the funds and you're really craving that extra power and you're gonna hold on to the system for a while but I think the the pro version is plenty fine I mean even just the base M1 is really is really good for me uh, in terms of which graphics option you should do I think the, the base is fine um, maybe if you're really into video editing you could bump that up but I really don't think it's necessary and for the RAM, I'm fine with 16 gigabytes on this. I've heard of people with eight gigabytes getting away with it just fine. So I don't think it's necessary to upgrade the RAM at all. Uh, all right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. So we have to take Archie to the vet today because he's been coughing a little. So hopefully it's nothing too bad. But I figure we'll take him out on a little walk first so he can have some enjoyment before the trauma of getting a thermometer shoved up his butt. Little do you know what's going to happen. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good.